What is up, YouTube? JB here, back again with another episode of My Gadget Gear. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at this bad boy right here. This is the Split Pad Pro for your Nintendo Switch. Let's get it. My Gadget Gear. It's in the review. So I've been using the Split Pad Pro for easily a couple of months now, maybe about two or three months. I purchased this from Best Buy, I believe, but you can pick it up from Best Buy, Amazon, a bunch of different places. It comes in different colors. Now I have the, the clear black color here, um, but this is so cool, guys. I gotta tell you, if you are a Nintendo Switch owner and you wanna get that, you know, have the experience of having the full size controllers, then you definitely need to take a look at this bad boy. Now, this isn't in a product that's made by Nintendo. Uh, it's an efficiently licensed product by Nintendo, but it's made by a company called Hori. So the Split Pad Pro has some different features going on with it that I think is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, look around the packaging. So as you can see right here, full size controller for handheld mode. Look on the back of the box. Now, some things that you'll notice that you may appreciate as a Nintendo Switch owner is you have the shoulder buttons there on the top. You have a nice precision D-pad, and then you also have some programmable trigger buttons on the rear. There's also a uh, turbo button on this thing too. So, like I said, I've been using this for a while. It's pretty cool. I really like it. There's some pros and cons, but let's go ahead and see what this bad boy looks like in action. So before I actually put these on the switch, I want you guys to see a comparison. As you can see, you have the standard Nintendo Joy-Con side by side uh, with the Hori Switch Pad Pro controller. It's a lot bigger. And then you can see here also a comparison to Nintendo Switch Pro controller. And you can see you actually will get indeed that full size controller experience. So when you wanna place these on your Nintendo Switch, it's very simple. You're gonna take your Joy-Cons off like you normally do. And you're just gonna slide these bad boys on. Slide them down till you hear that nice satisfying click and then boom, you're good to go. Just looking at it at first glance, honestly, is pretty impressive. Now, as you can see, this packs uh, a lot of size to your Nintendo Switch. It's gonna increase the footprint uh, significantly. So this is something that you may wanna consider, you know, taking advantage of while you're at home. Uh, maybe not so much taking it with you on the go just because of the size functionality. Uh, another thing, well, when talking about functionality, another thing that you may wanna consider is with these bad boys, there is no motion control. Um, and they are powered solely by the Nintendo Switch. Unlike the Joy-Cons, when you can see here, you've got the lights on them because they are they have an internal battery. Uh, the Split Pad Pros don't. So you're gonna get your power directly from the Switch unit. Also, there are, there's no rumble feature in this as well. So if you are one of those gamers that really like to feel, you know, those shots going through your weapon or, you know, you wanna feel what's happening in the game, you won't get that experience with the Split Pad Pros either. But for me personally, guys, I must say, the advantage of having a full-size control experience certainly outweighs the cons of the Split Pad Pro. I mean, if there is one thing that I absolutely do miss, uh, that I wish they would have built inside uh, this unit is the rumble feature. But aside from that, um, I love it. Full-size controllers means you're gonna get the full-size layout. If you look at the Pro Nintendo Switch controller here. You can see where you have the full size buttons, you have the D-pad, and it's the same thing for the Split Pad Pro. Nice full size D-pad, nice full size buttons here. It feels really good in the hand. Now, I'm, now I will say once you do get it in your hand, uh, it's very light, it's not heavy at all. It's light to the point to where, you know, you may almost say, oh man, this feels kind of cheap. But when you actually put it on your system, it works well together. And so I really, really do like this as an accessory for my Switch, and I think you will too. So let's go ahead and look at some of the features of this that makes the Split Pad Pro a little bit more unique. 
So aside from your full size controllers and your full button layout, you'll notice down on the bottom of each one of the controllers, you have an assign button and then you also have a turbo button. Now, I haven't really used the turbo button uh, all that much, but the assign button is really cool because what that does, it'll allow you to actually uh, assign your rear triggers back here. You can see on the controllers, you have rear triggers and you can use that assign button to program, to make that rear trigger programmable to any button that you want. Now, one thing that I may want to point out here is that the rear trigger buttons are only uh, assignable to the specific controller. So in other words, you can assign the rear trigger button on the left to operate the right controller and vice versa. Uh, but aside from that, still, this is really a, uh, a solid package. So I should also mention that when it comes to the Nintendo Switch docking station, you absolutely still can uh, dock your Nintendo Switch in it while attached to your split pad pro controllers, because that's actually pretty important. So yes, boom, there you go. Now again, you know, you're not gonna power, supply any power to the uh, split pad pros, but if you needed to, if you wanted to, you can definitely dock your switch while attached to the split pad pro controllers. All right, guys, before we get out of here, we're gonna do a quick demo of Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. I picked this title up not too, not too long ago. I haven't gotten really far in it at all, but I figured I'd do a demo of the split pad pros with it. Yeah, my man, Donkey Kong. All right, let's go. So as you can see, analog stick works well. D-pad, totally functional. Oops. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Kind of challenging to do from behind the camera, but this is for demo instructional purposes only. <laughs> but I think this is a pretty cool unit. Definitely a great accessory for your uh, for your Switch. Just like we got Diddy Kong on deck. Let me know what you guys think about this bad boy down in the comments below. If this is something that you already own and you've been getting some good use out of it, let me know. Or if you're going to pick this up for yourself, go ahead and let us know what you think about it. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Definitely the way to go if you're looking for that full-size controller experience for your Switch. But guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to finish this up on the back end, but just wanted to give you guys a good look and demo of the split pad pros <laughs> if you appreciated this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the latest content but that's all i have for now guys thanks so much for watching this video appreciate you guys this is jb signing off and until next time, enjoy your tech. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Okay. And on that note, I'm out. <laughs> My gadget gear. It's in the review.